Saturday, 17th of February. One last run before the big race. A week from now, I'll be either the happiest person or the most pissed off person running through Gran Canaria. I'll see you there. Morning, it's Wednesday, 22nd of February, almost 5 a.m. On our way to Stansted Airport and then Gran Canaria. Made it to Gran Canaria, Las Palmas. Not very nice weather. So guys, it's around 10.50 p.m. I'm just gonna go through what I'm gonna pack for my race. Flip it around. Here's my number. I have my Sullivan and Van Skin running bag. I'm gonna have two soft flasks with that. The pole quiver and the poles. The hydration bladder, which is like one liter. The cup for drinking at aid stations. I have the GPS device that I hired. I have a tail light in case. Well, not in case, but I need it. Backup. Then a bunch of other shit, you know, my headphones, some tissues, my headlamp, with extra batteries, sunglasses, a bunch of food, you know, Pringles, Cliff Bars, gels, but I also have food along the way. Some extra contacts, a bivy bag, some magnesium. I mean, I'm not gonna take all of this, but I'll take some salt pills, some caffeine pills, some compete, some paracetamol, some wipes, you know, you never know. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go through what I'm gonna wear. I have my long sleeve Gymshark top. Some merino wool socks, my shorts. Uh, I have my Solomon rain jacket. I have my on hat, and here I have some extra stuff which I'm required to bring because of the weather forecast, but I don't think I'm gonna wear it. So I have my thermal top, my thermal shorts, or thermal uh, bottoms, my windproof, waterproof pants. I'll bring this just in case I don't feel like wearing my hat anymore, and some gloves. Then on the feet, I'm gonna be wearing my nice and dirty, but not very used yet. Uh, hookah speed goat fives and on my wrist I have my whoop and my Garmin Phoenix 6x Pro All ready to go. Let's fucking do this On the beach in Las Palmas walking to the start. It's like 11 30 p.m. Let's get it Here at the start like 3,000 people they said, but I'm running on sand, it's gonna suck. See you later. Either most people don't know something that I do, that, or know something that I don't, but people are way more overdressed than I am and carrying way less shit in their bag, so either they're not carrying the full required list, or I don't know what's going on, but let's do this.
Here we go. Here we go. Off the sand, onto the boardwalk. to the beach, now we go in. Forty-five minutes in, and the poles come out. been roughly one hour. Feel okay? Did I mention it's also my birthday? It's one hour into my birthday. And this is how I spend it. Rocking 28 with a bang. I think I'm at the first pit stop. I think I just passed the first pit stop. Pit stop. One hour and 17 minutes in. Didn't stop, let's keep going. Almost two hours in, sorry for the light. Okay, been relatively flat. A lot of rocky path through the jungle. I'm happy I didn't put on my cold thermal stuff because it's hot and humid. And we carry on. Ciao, ciao. Roughly two and a half, I think. Yeah, two and a half. It's 2.30 a.m. Just did a bit of a nice up and down part in the mountains with a lot of rocky terrain. It was a bit tricky. Now I seem to be entering a village. It might be Tiror, I hope so. Because that'd be the second aid station. Let's keep it going. Ah, ah second aid station. Let's get some more water and some food. Ooh. And I arrive into some cute town, all fast asleep. Let me turn my light off. It's quarter past four. Yeah, four hours, 15 minutes in. Just did this nice up and down in the mud. It was like going up on rollerblades, coming down on skis. Kind of fell at one point. Popped one of my gels in my pocket, now it's nasty. Past aid station three, like four and a half hours in. Have a two hour, 40 minute buffer. Not too bad. Let's go. Five and a half hours in, more or less. Just did quite a bit of climbing. Not like 1,100 meters. And now I'm going back down again, which means I'm gonna have to go back up again soon. Ciao, ciao. Six 
and a half hours, 6.30 a.m. I'm descending into another village. I think it'll be 8 station 4. So yeah, soon sunrise. Left aid station four. Went to the bathroom, got some food, first backdrop. Two hours twenty ahead of schedule now. Let's go. Goes the headlamp. We made it through the night, boys. We made it through the night. Woo! Roughly eight hours in, it's 8 a.m. Should be almost at the fifth, eighth station. I mean, the first four was kind of like the first third. Now it's the second third, which is gonna be the tough one. And then the final third will be the easy one. So it's time to push, but this, this leg here has been pretty easy. Pretty downhill on the road. So keeping my legs feeling okay, feeling pretty good. Let's keep it going. Ciao, ciao. Almost nine, just left eight station five. Let's do it. To be honest, that last leg from four to five really sucked. It's mainly downhill, but like not fun downhill, like not easy downhill. That like kills you. Now it should be mainly up to the next one, so it's good. Let's go. Got the tunes in now. Let's pump some techno. Woo. It's been 11 hours 45. It's up six a little bit ago, I think. Uh, that segment, I started pretty strong and then I just, yeah. Tough one now. But at least I can see the, the Rock and Nublo or whatever they're called. Cause then it's all only downhill from there. Ciao. Oh, 
Wow, I'm struggling here. I really am struggling here. Station seven. I need a break. I'm dying. Oh, my legs are shot. Wow. Sixteen and a half hours later, and we made it to the Rock and Uble. That's the most significant climb finished. Let's keep it going. Uh, left eight station seven or eight, I don't remember anymore. Just a little bit ago. Have two more eight stations left, and then the finish. Changed my shirt, my underwear, my socks, got some pasta, went to the bathroom finally. Yeah, sorry for the TMI, but needed to get that out. It's been hard to film a bit. It's been all over the place in my head, but now we're feeling good, so. These next two legs are going to be very difficult, a lot of downhill, so that's really going to test the willpower, but feeling good. It's going to get dark soon again. Probably going to finish after midnight, so there goes the 24-hour goal. Anyway, let's see. See you later. Nearly past eight, been running 20 hours, and the headlamp is back on because the night is dark and full of terrors. Almost there. Light on, light off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and I've been officially doing this for 24 hours. Can I go home now? Fuck my life. <clears throat>
Oh, I think nearing the finish line, I think. I hope. It's one in the morning. It's been 25 hours. But yeah, all good otherwise. Especially except for this lovely boring path I've had for the past 50 days. I don't know. And at 2.41 a.m., 26 hours, 40 minutes, we're finally there. Thank God it's fucking over. Quintana, 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 Quintana,